You are pointing the right way. <laughs> At least for me, you were. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's right, but that's, that's, for me it is. Oh, I keep doing, I'm going to get rid of that. So it's okay. Um, nobody else could see what I got rid of, but that's fine. Okay. So I guess I'll just jump right into it. I really don't like this angle <laughs> on me, but uh, whatever. If it works for we us both to be seen, then I will make it work for me. I mean, it is better um, than cutting off like the top of your head, so... That's true. It's just like, who likes the angle from below? Um, I could get all the stuff I had last time and like lift it up, but then I have to put it all away again and I don't want to do that. <laughs> she can get like a tripod for your phone. Or do you? I do actually. I oh, didn't even think about that. We'll do that next time. I'll be in a different position for sure because it's like my dad's kick. I couldn't really, the tripod is too big. Mm ideas i actually can make it smaller we'll see i'll figure we're that out last still night working on it people we're still yeah, working. It's, each week it's going to be something new <laughs> it's going to be improved every week hopefully right because we don't even know what the component of adding another person is going to do oh a third person yeah that's going to be <laughs> hopefully as long as we all have our our phones or ipads or whatever the same direction hopefully it would be okay because i've seen other people do it with three i think i think i don't know anyway i'll have to to try (laughs) to ask people anyway so i will ask you the first question that i have that i'm going to ask everybody as the first question which is what does the word empath mean to you um the word empath means Well, first thing that comes to mind is empathy and just being kind to other people, like not necessarily even just feeling their emotions, but just being empathetic to their situation. Um, But to me personally, it means being there for those who need you, even if they don't really know you. Because I know I've done that for a couple of people that I don't really know that are more like acquaintances, but to be there, to be there, either their shoulder to cry on or their sounding board or something, just to be there. So they have somebody. Because everyone nowadays feels like they have nobody, which is really sad. Yeah, so like holding space for other people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's a a good way to say it. I would agree with that. Okay, and then how do you experience being an empath in the world? Hmm. Which I know is a little bit different now because we're not really in the world because of the pandemic and everything. Um, But you do have a man that you interact with on a daily basis, so that might be a way um, to help if you can't come up with any other (laughs) people (laughs) that you interact with. Postmates or (laughs) things like Um. that. Yeah, an experience the world. Um, <laughs> even though I do have a man, I'm still stuck in my little room most of the time doing either um, work or school work. But um, oh, this morning went to church because you know Sunday go to church. Um, Sorry, <laughs> that's my notification on my phone. I should figure out a way to turn that off. Uh, Continue. So you're, okay. You're good. <laughs> anyway good glad to hear it um so sunday morning it was uh we went to church it was lovely i got to see some people meet some new people um felt i honestly felt like super energized and like happy just to be out of the house and to be somewhere where people were happy to be there they're not like oh, I'm at work, or something like that. Like, they were happy, they were energetic, everything, everyone was nice. You could tell they were smiling because of the eyes, because you can't see them because they were all wearing masks initially. But if you're like me, your eyes close when you smile. <laughs> <laughs> me too. You could, you could tell they were smiling, they were happy, and you could just feel that energy. And um, it, it, was, it was so nice <laughs> to feel energized this morning. This has been a long week, not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I agree with that for sure. And yeah, I mean, 
I think being an empath going out and then interacting or even being near other people who are feeling good to be like you're all kind of having the communal first off being in church is communal but then also you know you're you're out and you're like oh they feel really great to just be out of the house or like away from things and and you know distraction and then you're interacting with other people and you're like actually grateful for it for the first time (laughs) ever and um so then that'll fill you up and then um you had mentioned before we went on that you were tired and that could be a part of it is like even the good still makes you tired (laughs) oh yeah it can be overwhelming sometimes definitely yeah even it doesn't even matter if it's good or bad you know even the good is just like I'm ready for a nap now that was wonderful but now I need like a day or two to recover Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) okay and then um what was your journey to realizing and embracing that you identified as an empath this is the hard one for me because okay I didn't really realize it or started even using that term um, until like the past couple of years because I knew I knew I could feel other people's emotions like in my soul basically because it's just it was so strong and it was emanating from them sometimes depending on the person and if I knew them that well. That's the big difference, is if I know the person well, then I can feel it. Um, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I kind of knew it, but I kind of really more embraced it recently. And kind of trying to figure out how to control it, as in, like, not letting, like, crowded areas overwhelm me as much trying to learn how to control that not there yet so don't ask me (laughs) control and manage yeah I have difficulty managing it too so I get that but yeah it's mainly the last couple years I really kind of more identified I feel like it's become more people more people have become aware and started using the term recently as well because I feel the same like within the past few years I more embraced it and was like oh I I knew I always was one um but I just didn't have the concept of what that meant or you know I didn't have any of the any of the information to make me realize it earlier so I think it's um coming in more now okay yes um how do you okay so this one you might not be able to answer because I had trouble answering it myself but I um I'm going to ask it anyway. How do you create boundaries for yourself as an empath when you go out into the world, if you do go out into the world? (laughs) See, I remember when we were going over the questions before that I had um, mentioned something about focus. Like when I go out grocery shopping specifically, because I'm focused on my grocery list, I don't really feel anything that's going on around me. So it's, it's, for me, it's more about focus than creating boundaries at this point. (laughs) I might be able to create boundaries later, but for me, it's more about focus and also around people I don't really know. Because I'm definitely not good at boundaries around people I know very well. There's like no boundaries. Uh, The empath in me around Uh Oh, Oh, sorry, you were frozen again. Okay, continue. (laughs) Now, maybe you're frozen again. Oh no. Hello. I don't know what to do. Oh, 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 oh you're back. Okay. Okay. You're back. All of a sudden, my connection was lost. Thing popped up, and I was like, "Um, our internet's fine." <laughs> I was like, "I don't know what to do." <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you sure it's, your internet's okay? Wrong finger. Um, my internet's okay. So you're frozen again, but you said you could hear me when you were frozen. Uh, oh, now I'm frozen? Can you hear me? This is good, great. Okay. Yeah, right. Now you're not frozen. So you know con- try to continue with whatever you were saying. I don't know where I was. Uh, I was the, oh, so you were talking about boundaries, I think and um, being able to focus and you're frozen but I'm going to keep talking so um 
Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Now you're back. So um, I think that when you were talking about being focused, for me, that would be, I know it's different, but that would be more of like probably distraction. You're so focused on something else that you can't pay attention to the other emotions that are coming in and potentially bombarding you. Um, that's how I would interpret that for me. If it, it, cause I, you know, I go out and I do things and a lot of times it doesn't, it, like what you said, it's very much people who I'm more connected to. I notice it with, mm -hmm. and then otherwise it's like, if I go to a, con a convention, I'm just exhausted because I'm probably picking up on stuff that I don't realize that I'm picking up on. And it's very heightened energy and oh, all of that. A convention. Yeah. <laughs> Any convention for sure. Um, yeah so that's that's what i would contribute to what you were saying did you have anything else as long as it hopefully stays on no i think we're good there okay um Weird. have you ever thought of someone in your life was an empath but they didn't identify as one or have you met people who identify as one and you disagree I know I can say no to the second part of that because I have not had anyone self-identify themselves to me. Um, okay. I'm trying to think if, if I've experienced anybody. Hmm. I'm trying to you know, it's hard to like judge that because people act so differently because everyone is their own individual and they have their own emotions and they they feel their own things differently. They have their own experiences. I want to say I may have met a couple of people that do, that I feel are empaths, but don't necessarily identify, but that's just me projecting my imagination on them, basically. It's not really them identifying themselves. So I don't really want to name names or anything, but I feel like Oh no, I wasn't I wasn't saying that you should name no. names. I was, I was just saying in general, like is there anybody that you thought maybe cuz I've I've met I don't necessarily talk to every single person I meet about being an empath. Um it's more people I feel like I can trust and so sometimes when there's somebody I meet who I feel like is very empathetic and very loving and I respond really well energetically to a lot of times I'll be like, okay, I could be seeing the empath in them or maybe just the empathy or something. And so I'll be like, I'll ask them just to, thinking that they are one. And then they'll be like, I don't think so. I don't, I don't identify as one, which is fine. Cause it's all about how you specifically identify as one. It doesn't, mm -hmm. it's not wrong. If you don't, it's not wrong. If you do, um, but yeah, there are some people where I'm just like, I don't think that you would do something like that if you were really an empath, because that's just, again, like you said, though, projecting, because it's something that I would never do, because I know that it would emotionally hurt somebody or something. Um, so, but yeah, again, that's very much what you were saying. It's me projecting how I experience the world. And if I, they don't do it exactly the same as me, then they're not one. <laughs> but that's. Yeah. not true I would never take that away from anybody so oh, goodness yeah no it's like trying to tell somebody oh you can't be such and such because it goes against my religion I'm like hmm yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's not get into the religion conversation <laughs> as long as there's respect all around I don't see why people of all different aspects and walks of life can't co-mingle and be friends or whatever as long as you're like Mm -hmm. Even if you don't agree with what I think it is how the world works, that doesn't mean that you're wrong or awful or going to hell. I mean, again, that's my opinion. Um, but yeah, I just feel like as long as we all have respect for each other, it shouldn't be, um, yeah, there shouldn't be judgment of you're wrong because you don't believe what I believe. Oh, yeah. It's all about respect and respecting the other person, even if they view the world differently than you. Just show some respect and be kind, especially now. Because oh, all of us are sick of being inside of our houses for so long. <laughs> Not as yeah. as anybody else. I don't know if all the Karens are coming out of hiding or if they're just going crazy because they've been inside all the time. So it's like creating more Karens than there actually were, or they just feel more comfortable going out in public and bashing on other people. 
Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it could be a little bit of both. Like, you know, and again, you don't know what's going on. They could be having a really bad day. And yeah. the way they take it out is yeah. not an effective way to take it out on other people. Yeah. That's okay. I'm terrible at not talking when you're... <laughs> I try not to, too, because I know that we, like... We always talk <laughs> what were you saying when I, was, when I was talking so that we can get both sides? I was saying um, it, it's possible that they could have just gotten the worst news of their lives and they're having, like, an emotional breakdown. And they don't know how to deal with it. So they're just projecting all of their their sadness and their anger on everybody else. That's yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like maybe they don't know how to process their emotions. And, yeah. and that's part of the issue. And in the world we live in, it's either you're like, you're a woman and you're too emotional or too, you know, you're always too something. Like, well, we're more emotional beings, but then when we are emotional, we get bashed for being too emotional. Like, it's, there's like, there's this balance that the world expects us to fit in in the middle somewhere, but it doesn't exist. Like, you want us to exist somewhere that doesn't, that's not there. So, um, and then, you know, that we'll probably get into a conversation when I get some men on um, to, about the differences between being an empath as a woman and being an empath as a man. Um, be, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm really excited because I don't know the other side of it and I really want to hear about it, but that's not going to be for at least a few more weeks, probably a month because we have, it's every other week and I have two ladies already for the next two of these. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm very, very interested in, in the differences for sure, because especially with men, it's like they aren't allowed to have emotions or if they, if they do, it's like better if they're the like aggressive because that's manly mm -hmm. and, you know, but all women ever want is to be like basically with a gay man, you know, <laughs> like a gay man that can protect you. <laughs> it's just like this powerful man who's also able to like be very in touch with his emotions and um I don't know if I okay um I I I know somebody who's married to of uh, just like this wonderful man and he has both sides like he's very manly outdoorsy but then he also has the very like internal writes poetry they take turns crying you know <laughs> like it's very it's it's like a wonderful give and take relationship and that's really what women want and so I feel like it might be more acceptable for men in the world to start being experiencing more of the emotions that they're having and also with how they're being raised more women hopefully will allow their um mm -hmm. son to experience that um and so yeah i think that hopefully this discussion is j just the beginning of it getting bigger um oh yeah i yeah because, I mean, before, nobody even had the term empath, and nobody even was like, I don't know, wh what isn't it? I've, I've talked to some people who don't even know what it is now. So, um, I think I had to tell my boss. I said, yeah, I'm an empath. And he's like, well, what's that? <laughs> and I was like, oh, crap. Now I have to figure out how to explain it. <laughs> so. Part. I had saved something. Where did it go? There it was, right? Yeah, a short history of empathy. Remember, because we had looked that up before. Oh right, yeah, because you did the research. <laughs> I literally just looked like history of empath, and then this popped up as those like two seconds of research. I I didn't do it though, <laughs> but we were talking to each other, so it was kind of like a team effort. Let's just say that. Let's yeah. pre pretend I helped. <laughs> <laughs> um. So right underneath, well, this was this article was. There we go. Written in October of 2015. So it is a five-year-old article, but I think it still works. Um, under the title of A Sort Short History of Empathy is the term's only been around for about a century. About a century? Anyway. But over the course of its existence, its meaning has continually changed. Let's see. Who? There it is. The English word empathy came into being only about a century ago as a translation for the German psychological term. I cannot say this. Because it's German. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm mostly German, but I don't know any, and I can't speak it, so. Hey. Um, anyway, German psychological in English literally meaning feeling in. Uh, English-speaking psychologists suggested a handful of other translations for the word, including animation, play, age, aesthetic sympathy, and semblance. But in 1908, two psychologists from Cornell and the University of Cambridge suggested empathy, or insert German word here, <laughs> drawing on the Greek M for in and pathos for feeling, and it stuck. Oh, I like that. And yeah. yeah. And there's a whole lot else to this article, but it's 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 too much for me to read. I will be just twisting my tongue. I already had troubles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little too um, textbooky, you know. <laughs> That's just like I start reading books from high school if they were textbooks, and my brain would just literally shut down after the first <laughs> sentence, and I'd be like, "This is not good. I need to study. <laughs> like, I need I need to, to know what's going on." But my brain's like, "Nope, can't. Nope, can't function. Don't." understand yeah but i might put like a link to this in the comments so that way if other people want to read it they can but yeah that would be great i'll probably do that sounds sounds great to me yeah i was glad that you um looked it up while we were talking and um figured it, not this time of course but like we talk yeah. all the time oh, so no oh <laughs> uh, well we do yeah. <laughs> we only do videos like once a week and then uh, and then now this is going to add to it but this is a little bit more professional than just a little <laughs> than our regular talking a lot <laughs> a lot well it's shorter because <laughs> we normally talk for hours True. yes and it's still i still just can't believe that we've only um met in person once right that's insane yeah not one photo together <laughs> oh but that reminds you i have a question to ask you when we're done oh after this okay i was like what but no, it's not it, it doesn't have to do with this <laughs> okay <laughs> now my brain is going all these places of what it might be <laughs> not bad because i know you and i love you so it's not it's never bad but um you know a lot of times your anxiety won't stop you from going there anyway even though you're like I know this person and I trust this person but they're like it's like we need to talk oh my god are they gonna end the friendship like <laughs> what's right. going on Spiral. that's like the worst phrase you ever could say is we need to talk like I actually have that I think <laughs> right ah, I think I have that in the it's either in the first novel or the one that I'm still writing this the like because it's a continuation but I'm pretty sure it's in the first one where it's like you just that that's you just don't say that like that's just and he's like why do people always think that I'm like the way do they not respond well when I say that and she's like well it's kind of universally known nobody talks about it but you just like you don't say that because you think that you're in trouble and he's like well if it's universally known and nobody talks about it how am I supposed to know <laughs> So I feel like it's in the first one, but it's all like a mole of one story in my head right now. So I can't keep track. I'd have to go back and read it myself <laughs> again. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like it's in the first one. I, th I think it's in the first one. So if you've gotten the book and read it, um, it's my tiny little promotion because I'd love for more people to buy it. <laughs> it's right next to me. What? I love it. I do too. I like the back. Somebody, um, I showed them this photo and they said, you should use that for the back of your cover. And I was like, really? And they said, yeah, it's so different. Like you don't see like really happy, um, enthusiastic people as they're about author. And so I was like, okay, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it. And then it came to it and I was like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Usually you see them all being all like somber and professional and I'm like, I don't really want to read a book by somebody who's stuck up and snooty. Why? Yeah, or even just the post smile is, you know, just generic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, typically it's it's not, I can't even, I don't read that much anymore because um, school kind of took the fun out of reading for me, um, which is sad. But, and it's just so hard to like find a good book to get into. Um, you know, it's like, I read Harry Potter, and then I read the Twilight series, which people might judge me for, but, um, fuck it. And, you know, I actually thought, what? Sorry, my computer was doing something. 
Okay. I actually thought that the, I don't get why everybody talked about how bad it was because she was a teenage girl and it was written as if like, a te- I don't know. I really enjoyed like that. Those books got me so into it that it was like, I should have been studying for finals. And it was, <laughs> I was up until like one or two o'clock in the morning finishing the series um, okay. or whatever book I had at the time. So yeah, you know, I, I, I do, I guess, get into the fad of books, specific books that are really big, but I didn't get into Harry Potter until, I guess it wasn't huge yet, but it was still like, it was a friend's mother told me about it or she was reading it. And I was like, what is that? And she told me, and then I read it and then it became big. Um, But yeah, it's, it's just like to find something that I'm interested in and then to, to try to get sucked into it. It just takes i'm lazy (laughs) is this is the end of this story (laughs) i just don't want to take the time and then i i'm watching tv or doing other stuff too much that i just don't you know like i bought my friend's book and i still haven't finished it (laughs) it's just i have a book in the bathroom that i still haven't finished you know like i'm trying it's just not hard enough (laughs) i was wondering where that story was going not gonna lie (laughs) with all the books yeah it's like oh you're lazy okay that's that's the ending of that story yeah yeah people will probably find out very quickly i go on tangents i do have a purpose every time i do it but sometimes i forget (laughs) where i was going and then i get really frustrated (laughs) with myself but it was about books it was started with my book and then i was talking about other books and then it it ended on me being lazy <laughs> which is okay it worked okay well it's been 30 minutes because i maybe this will just turn into a 30 minute thing right because we started at 2 30 for me and so it's three now um and you actually went a lot faster i think yours was probably done in 15 minutes which I, we figured <laughs> i mean i figured um But yeah, so I just like to, I'm going to keep it at saying we're going to do it for an hour just so that we have the buffer time for guests so they don't feel like pressured to have to rush through everything, which is probably why I was talking really fast last week because I was like, I have so much to say. I have to talk really fast to get it all out because I'm not going to have enough time. And then it was fine. Um, But and I think when I'm, ex- of course, when I'm excited, I also talk a lot faster. So when I'm doing these, I definitely talk a lot faster than normal. <laughs> um, so it's going to be, because this was a filler, so we are doing it again next week, um, which is November 7th. And it's going to be with Angela Barber. So it'll be the three of us. Hopefully we can figure out how to get us all on screen. Maybe she'll be willing to work with us before so we can try to figure it out on my actual um, personal page. That might be worth taking a shot to do that. So that'll be November 7th, 2.30 my time, 4.30 your time. And she identifies as both an empath and a writer. So this will be the first time when we probably will take the whole hour because we'll go through all the empath questions. And then I have some writer questions as well. And then I'm also a writer, clearly, because <laughs> I wrote my own book. Um, and so I might put some of my input in there as well. So I think next week's might actually turn into an hour because there's three of us and there's lots and lots of questions and depending on how in depth she goes into them. Um, also, yeah, so I had technically five questions for both it's just the fifth question for empath is more of like a five six there's right. two questions in one so but um yeah I, I i don't know we'll see um this will be the first empath writer besides me that we've had on here um so yeah that is the plan i will check in with her and make sure we're still set and then of course send or post um on the page to be like this is what's happening this is when it's happening i was a little lax this week because i was emotional hormonal on my period and i just was not in a good place to even go there i was in a good place a couple hours before this but yeah i'm better now at the moment and so um yeah so hopefully i'll you know let people know before and now that we're actually both in frame i will feel more comfortable sharing this everywhere (laughs) and trying to get it more places um 
Um, Although, yeah, I, I do feel like I'm getting a little slack for not having, um, or not getting slack, I don't know the term, for not having um, captions. So um, please bear with us. We're trying to figure it out. We can't even get the video stuff figured out, let alone captions. So, um, but I'm working on it. It is a process. I'm trying, and I don't appreciate being shamed for um, not having it uh, when I try really hard. So, and you know, it's, it just makes me feel even worse because there's, you know, I'm was a part of the deaf community. I might not necessarily be as much now, and I know sign language, and um, and so for me to have it in the novel and not have this be. Um, that's open for everybody, including deaf people. It's um, a little upsetting to me as well, but hopefully we'll be able to get there. Um, now, and we'll probably have to talk about this because you have an iPad, I but I have to do it on my phone or it doesn't really work the way I want it to. So mm -hmm. I did get the mix. No, oh, that's something else. I did get an app for it, but I don't know how to get it. Like It's like you have to record it on there, but I don't know how to add somebody on there in order to have the captions pre-do pre it. And, um, so yeah, I, I'm trying. I really am. I promise. Um, and I could type it all out, which is somebody who requested, just type out the tra transcript of it, but it's like 30 minutes to an hour. That's a lot for somebody to have to read. And I know that it's not as inclusive, but um, maybe I'll just have to suck it up and find the time to do that. So at least it'll be more open and inclusive because that's important and I know that. <sighs> so, or maybe we could, I don't really want to, I get tired after doing one of these, so I don't want to like go on Instagram and then do it again, and then you know, yeah. but um, because maybe there's a way to, and there's a you know, you could do it on YouTube, but I don't have a station for this specifically yet. Um, yeah, we're in the very early stages still, so it's just like I had this idea, you got massively on board right away, very excited. I'm not used to having friends get excited about things that I'm excited about, so that's. I'm wonderful to have in my life and and so it just happened and then other people seemed interested and wanted to be a part of it and so you'll see them <laughs> I need to actually schedule some of the guys but <laughs> we have like four weeks uh, so it should be fine um but yeah so that's that's the plan and thank you for bearing with me and us if anybody ever watches <laughs> which is great um yeah, and I'd still love for people to watch the first one. Just, you know, maybe use it more as a podcast because you can't really see our faces. It's like the bottom of my chin and the half of your face. Actually, I think it's your forehead. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, your eyes and your forehead. And mine's just like the bottom half of me. Um, <laughs> together, we make one person. <laughs> um, um, like my cup is your... Anyway, that's tangent we can explore later. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd still love for people to watch that one as well, because um, I talk, I talked a lot more about my experience, because it was me, and then this week is you, and then next week it's the other person. So, um, okay, so yeah, we'll end it here, and I will talk to you. We'll, I guess we'll video or not video or do something. We'll connect immediately after ending this, <laughs> as we do. Yeah. Um, Yes. Thank you for coming again. And thank you for letting me interview you. Anytime. Yes. I was like, and shut up so she can talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I will see everybody or anybody uh, next week at 2.30 my time, 4.30 your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye.